Hey guys, it's me, Shane Stan36, back here again, and today I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool. <coughs> and it's a, um, a very old Yale padlock. Diesel Duty has one of these, but he lost it at sea. <coughs> it's just very sad, and I've got the hiccups. You know. It's owned by a company called Yale. <coughs> I guess it was made. It was made right here in England. It's made out of steel and lead. Everything is made of lead in this lock. So it's gonna last a really long time, I feel. And then there's the um, logo. Which is, it's, it's the old Yale logo. And here is the um, key, which seems to have the um, newer Yale logo, and which, yeah, this is uh, made in England. That, that looks like the newer Ye Yale logo, so this must be like a replacement key. And there's the um, serial number. There we are. Now we're going to unlock it. Mm, this is how quiet this is. It unlocks. Very quiet, eh? <coughs> Very nice old lock this is. it's seized up <coughs> very stiff but very nice little lock I know my friend used to see he only used to have one of these but he lost it at sea Very well built lock. It's very tough. It's made of lead metal. <coughs> this is absolutely lovely. And this came off an old shed. And the shed has now got a sterling lock on it. It's got. I think it has. I've got a lock on it. Okay, so you can see that lock. And there's a bonus. We'll demonstrate this lock on not getting through. You know, it's very stiff. That can be you can't demonstrate it because. You know what? Oh, you know what? Oh, that's because we haven't got. I haven't come from my my own key, so yeah. <coughs> there is my. Anyway, look at the difference. The yellow is much bigger and feels better bit built, even though the um starting is actually quite stiff to unlock. And I will admit, these locks are quite nice. So yeah. Anyway, that will be it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.